welcome. Hey there, all you. <laughs> How you guys doing? Uh, all you cool cats and China dolls tonight, ready for some cinema. Here? Ready for some cynical cinema? Some cynics. I have no idea what the fuck we are in for tonight. I don't either. Uh, all we knew is uh, when me and Paul did this, uh, we went through the movie list to figure out which movies we were going to do for us, uh, cynics versus cinema. Um, we stumbled, this is one of the ones we stumbled on and just like kind of clicked a few random places and just said yes. Yeah, because it, it, everything we clicked on, some insane bullshit was going on. There's all kinds of insane monsters and craziness. Yeah. So this might end up being a pretty good flick. I don't know. I mean, it could at least be enjoyably bad. It's got some big names in it. I saw Randy Quaid. Yeah, Randy. Well, I don't know if that's a big name. Come on. Yeah. Randy Quaid's a big name to me. All right. All right. I know Randy Quaid. Alex Winter, the fucking uh, Bill and Ted guy. Yeah, Bill. Bill, Bill S. Preston Esquire yep, from Bill and Ted is, is up in this bitch. Uh, was Denise Richards is Denise in this? Denise Richards yeah. is in this bitch. I don't know. Brooke how Shields makes a cameo, I think. Yeah, is it? Well, I think it was one or the other. Was it both of them, or was it just one? It might be both of them. I don't fucking. Know. Okay, well, anyway, it's, <laughs> there's a surprisingly good cast, I guess, for this. It's from my golden age, man. 1993 was the beginning of the greatest years of my life, man. Really? 13 years old, ready to tackle the world. <laughs> what happened? Uh, everything the, went horribly. The world tackled. <laughs> yeah, back, the world I guess. tackled me. <laughs> Uh, so uh, a few things before we start. Uh, first of all, wanted to let people know uh, there is now a Cinema for Cynics Patreon if you want to support the things that we do here on this channel. Yeah, and if you're a fan of this show, one of the perk levels on the new Patreon is uh, a special episode of Cynics vs. Cinema yep. where we're not limited by YouTube's stupid bullshit restrictions. We can watch whatever we want. So it's that'll true. be cool. So if you like this, that might be the level you want to check out. Yeah, because on, on here we can only review movies that are already on YouTube that have gotten away with it. Um, so uh, that's and kinda, even then sometimes we have yeah, problems. E even that doesn't seem to be a guarantee uh, it's safe to do. But uh, if we, you know, for their patrons, we're gonna be able to choose from any fucking movie in existence. You know, so uh, that's kind of cool. Um, there's also a $75 perk where you can um, choose a movie that Paul will review. Yep, and shill a product at the same time if you want. So yep. I'll review your movie and shill your product before it. Yeah, give you a shout out, all that stuff. So and there's a $1 level if you just want to toss us a buck. Yep, uh, it's a pretty simple Patreon. Uh, you can find it linked to in the description. Uh, Streamlabs and Super Chats will appear in, you know, over Chauncey's face, which he's... He's not thrilled about that decision. But, yeah, you know. he's constantly fighting for the right to not have his face covered by the super chats, but whatever. Yep. He's a skeleton, so hey he can't guys, really do much. Hey, guys, I'm exited for this one. <laughs> as cool. A kid, this, as a kid, this fucked me up staying up late. Hope you enjoy it, too. It's pretty creepy. Okay, cool. So he's familiar with this film. Um, well, we're about to take a look at it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to go over. Um, I think it's pretty much just time to start this yeah. motherfucker. Let's make it happen. And I will, uh, it, you know, some street super chats and stream labs do pass by unnoticed, but usually we get them. So we'll do our best. Yeah, we might want to mute this. Okay. And this is actually a copyrighted song. All right, we're muting this part yeah. just because of this song. It's kind of sad because the intro music is pretty cool, but it's definitely a song that has like an entry on YouTube. So okay, probably. Oh, uh, I saw we had uh, something come in just a moment ago. Exactly the right time. By the way, DFF is great. Keep that shit going and keep smiling, Paul. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can't look neutral. Paul, you have to look constantly thrilled. About constantly what you're doing. thrilled, constantly 100% engaged. I'm kind of enjoying this, like, opening scene, though. You know, like, I wish the music could play, but the visuals are cool here. Yep. They, somebody spent some time and effort making this, you know? Yeah, this would be awesome to see on acid, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Morgan Fairchild. Wow. Morgan Fairchild? She's like a softcore porn actress. I know. Sweet. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no titties in this. We did a good. I mean, we we, we do. We scrubbed it. We we check. I mean, we don't we don't we don't watch a whole movie beforehand. So sometimes it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, sometimes titties do slip through the cracks. 
But, you know, what are you going to do? Slip up out of the bra and bobble through the cracks, you know, onto the screen. And we're like, well, (laughs) free titties for everybody. Hope we don't get banned. Sorry, y'all. This is actually a little bit higher budget than the stuff we normally end up reviewing on here. This is actually produced by 20th Century Fox, so yeah. it does carry with it some more risks, but there's a couple of different versions of this up on YouTube. Yeah. In, you know, in completion, so I don't think we're... Maybe they're not proud of this anymore. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, we don't <laughs> we don't want to even claim this. Yeah, Randy I don't Quaid. Know. So far, it seems pretty cool. I, I'm digging this opening uh, segment. Yeah, yeah, the uh, animation is cool. Jamie Thompson's up in this motherfucker. Right. Man, remember when opening credits used to be this long? Yeah. I don't really miss that. I don't understand why they did it this way ever, you know, because uh, every movie's got the, you know, after movie credits roll too, and they're all, you know, when they do this, it's not like you get a shorter post-movie credit. Yeah. And I mean, as cool as the visuals are, they don't really the the text isn't really worked in very well. Yeah. All right. Has been destroyed. You may return to your homes. What's been destroyed? And now back to the Sky Daily Show There's with Brooke tonight's Shields. special guest, Ricky Coogan. Uh, whoa. Ricky. After you guys are like fat beavis and butthead, but movies. Courage by I like to think to that our commentary is not quite as good as beavis and butthead's. But. Thanks. Who's America beavis and has who's watched butthead? you grow up in television and in movies. For it's years, you were everyone's decide, favorite little brother in that hit series, The Baker's is Dozen. There a, is there one you'd rather be? <laughs> I don't know. They're both pretty course, cool. I'd be happy with either. As the star of those hilarious ghost dude movies, well, you got the entire country saying... Boo, dude. Boo, dude. Boo, dude. After Boo, your horrific dude. ordeal, I love the it. very mention of your Sounds name like that would makes catch children on. scream in terror. Ricky Coogan, <laughs> the world is waiting to hear your story. Well, it's kind of long, but okay. <sighs> it all started when I was approached to be spokesman for a multinational corporation called EES. Oh. The everything except shoes people. Right. I was at their headquarters to meet the chairman That's and the board joke. of directors. Yeah. They wanted to send me to South America to promote a controversial fertilizer called Zygrot 24. You TJ are the only one who can stand up to TJ these radicals who are trying to keep Zygrot 24 Beavis. from the struggling farmers Damn. whose very future depends on it. Wasn't that stuff banned? Only in the U.S. and Europe. Boo, dude. Boo, dude. I heard <laughs> that shit's lethal. All right. You need proof. Bill Fine. S. Preston. Please sit down. I would like you to meet the head of our South American Dude, research like a facility, clone of John Senor Juan Valdez. My name is George Ramirez. Whatever. He's Damn, been with dude, just throwing shit at Mexicans, like, in years. total. And look at him. He's in fine shape. 93 was a more innocent Aren't time you? when you could just fucking... Wow. You could just throw shade at an entire race of people and nobody really cared. Yes, that guy's still in a bunch of shit. Yes. Who? The guy that's uh, doing the, the CEO or whatever. Oh yeah, that's the dude we we talked about him I before. He was the uh, the hit guy in the last. Yeah. In Santa Flan. Yep. Santa he was in the last Flan. one we watched. What kind of what shitty he, name he, for yeah, I think country he was. Or no no, that. we watched Fat Dragon last. <laughs> <laughs> or no, uh, well he was in one it's of the other ones we watched. Named for the patron saint of creamy He's desserts. He's all kinds of shit. As I was saying, we have worked very closely with Cyclo Twenty Four. I have personally supervised his development. No potential danger was left uninvestigated. Mm. The environmentalists uh, are crackpots. Oh All shit. Of them. This is ridiculous, I tell you. Keanu Reeves <laughs> is uncredited <laughs> as the dog man. Okay, Thank so apparently when we see a dog That'll man, that's Keanu Reeves. Hey, wait <laughs> wow. <a> Ricky, <laughs> this is important. We are talking about a major threat to How the How did EES Bill image. get the lead role in this and not Ted? <clears throat> I don't know. Keanu is the way bigger star. Expenses. Maybe this is why. Yeah, that's a good point. Sounds great. Maybe this is why. <laughs> but I hear you. He was smart enough to take the uncredited dog man role <laughs> in this whole piece Well, that of is shit. if the board agrees. Gentlemen, all those in favor. Good. It's hey. unanimous. Well, Whoa. Ricky, what do you say? <laughs> this movie is Are cool. You I like that. Man <laughs> <in Santa Flan. laughs> 
I have no idea what's happening, but I really don't even care. Well, they're trying to get this guy to be the spokesman for a fucking fertilizer that's deadly. <laughs> Boo, dude! So the deal was done. I was Ricky Coogan, toxic chemical salesman. Me and my buddy Ernie hopped on the next plane for Santa Flan. Oh, did they show a movie? Return to the Blue Lagoon. Oh, I heard that sucked. Where the hell is Ernie? That's a shame. That was like some yeah, referential humor that? there yeah. that nobody's gonna get. Cause... Well, she was in the first one, right? Yeah. Where'd you get that? I don't know, Coog. It started yeah, I as got a it. pimple and then I scratched I'm just saying, it. like, most of our audience ain't gonna get that shit. Well, give our audience full credit, dude. No. I, I give them blanket? no credit. Yes, please. They got it, dude. They got that shit. Whoa. Is that Morgan your Fairchild up still there? looking yeah. hot at this age, Is that too. Your ugly I gotta, little I gotta troll? say. Stewie, Glock! Uh, Look! I got a rare still from your first season on the Baker's Dozen! Could you sign it for me? Please! Baker's Dozen, I like the mom on that show. I parked her. Cool. Too much is going on in this movie. I can't. Yeah, way too much. Yeah, crush that little ginger. <laughs> yeah, man, you're killing your little fan. Man, that is a big ass airplane bathroom that can fit two people, a little Asian lady, a little Don't ginger Christ. kid's head. Hey, ginger kid's head, dude. <laughs> Mom, I can I think barely fit in one of those by myself. I think that is the standard for an airport bathroom. Yes! <laughs> Please take it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Sweet! Why didn't she get sucked out? I don't know. That's not how it works in this movie. That was awesome. May I take you that was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life, dude. Wow, I'm glad that happened. This movie is great. you can see a panic-stricken little troll. Oh no, he's back. He did? No, okay, he's dead. Cool. You gonna eat your peanuts, Ernie? Nah, you can have them. Thanks. Why is this guy got a hand coming out of his dick? I am, I don't know. Oh, wow, he's one of those lucky people that survives a fall like that. Damn it. Some people do, do that has happened. I know, but that kid should have been dead. Twice. There, because that thing Here falling are, out of the plane that just hit him in the head would have killed him. That would have been great if they made it seem like, oh, he lived, and, Give then, me a few and then that thing killed him. Yeah. No, he's going to be back. Sure, glad that wasn't our plane. <laughs> wow, there really is a lot happening in this movie on a pretty much constant basis. Yeah. It's like, un it's like relentless. Yes. We better find the limo right now before these whale kissers chop us up and sell us parts. Whale kissers. <laughs> Damn, that's a hot whale kisser, though. If I can just find the right disguise. Take these. Wow, he put that together quick. Yeah. Well, he's an actor, man. They know how to do that shit. Yeah, he just improv that shit. Yep. Like, Are you okay? This movie Let me remind help anybody you, else of Biodome? Don't worry about me. No. I, what's one man's pain? Wait, there's been more insanity in the first five of minutes of this movie like than there is in the entirety yes. of Biodome. Go. The fight must continue. Wow. My name's Julie. God, I gotta let you in my Josh. pussy right now, Josh bandage Tom. man. <laughs> Mother Teresa, glad to meet you. I've always had a mummy fetish. Give me those, you ape. Ow. Oh. Josh. Yeah. A busload of us are headed over to Marathas to protest Zygrot 24 <sighs> and pelt Ricky Coogan with cow shit. Hmm. Same here. Uh, you could ride with us. <laughs> us? You're with him? Oh, Ernie? Uh, he's okay. You ever heard of an idiot savant? Sure. Oh, uh, that's Ernie. Except for the savant part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, one thing's Ernie for sure. Cuck, dude. That Coogan <laughs> guy sure is an asshole, huh? Oh, I'll say, what a total piece of shit. I mean, 
Don't you think so, Josh? Would you be cozying uh, up to a dude that's bleeding <laughs> through his bandages? I mean, I'd be like, I mean, dude, can you believe please don't touch me. Crap? Well, come on, with the script dude, that bad, he it. deserves an Oscar for she coming off as good nuts as he did. Already, he took dude. one look well, at that no bitch and like, Slater. that's a bitch that fuck a mummy, dude. Come on, I can That is a bitch that would fuck a mummy. I know a mummy fucker when I see one. And you think Slater could improv like this? Huh? Did you just yeah. ruin your whole chance, dude? She was gonna suck so, your mummy dick and everything, Julie, dude. <laughs> you like Swedish films? So now they just like kidnapped a woman? Yeah. You don't even want to hear the truth about Psycho 24, do you, Cooper? I mean, look, I am not saying that this stuff is gonna turn anyone into some kind of human worm. Exactly, a human worm. I mean, that's just absurd. The point is, is that this product Dog is a. Boy. Yeah, or a dog boy. That's stupid. Keanu, the dude. point is, this is a very dog man. Okay, now you're just being I'm silly. Dog boy. Human suffering is just a big joke to you, isn't it, Coogan? Fuck. You are so sick. Ash that cigarette, Coogan. Cool, a freak show. Got a big old grandma Let's check it out. off the end of it, man. It's gonna be kind of like a family nice reunion for you, huh? Century Lighten 21 up. agent jacket. Could be a goof. <laughs> <laughs> cool people don't have to ash their cigarettes, Paul. This movie is way too fast. Um, you know, no point to this message, Please but to support you guys. Well, thank enterprises. you. Any unauthorized reproduction is strictly prohibited without prior written consent. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're fucked. Oh, see, so he ashed it. Whoa, Woody Woodpecker's out there in the woods. Did you hear him? Yeah. I heard him. I did hear that. I don't know if our audience is smart enough to get that reference. Yeah. Woody Woodpecker is too old of a cartoon for yeah. them to possibly know what's going on. Yeah, they don't know who Woody Woodpecker is. Wow, this is awesome. Fuck, how did they end up at Freakland. I don't get it. They, well, she said she wanted to go. Oh, she was like, let's go check it out? Yeah, and they're like, all right. Wow. So she is into him anyway. She's yeah. like, oh, you're Ricky Coogan? Yeah, well, you were still hot as that mummy, so... <laughs> Each other's most repulsive mistakes. Don't forget to visit our snack bar. And this feels like a cartoon spin. instead of a movie. Um, maybe a little. Yeah, it does kind of have that feel to it. Maybe that's what they were going for. So... Every day, because there's a lot of bright colors, the, con the pace Real is kinetic. Stupid. The characters are all just like totally overblown stereotypes. The jokes are miles over the top. Let's go, Ernie. This place is dead. Yeah, where's all the weirdos? There are no weirdos. Maybe, maybe inside yeah. one of these buildings around you? I don't know. They probably don't keep them out in the fucking courtyard, it's... you know? Yes. Genetic nightmares? I can't, yeah, I can't believe how you impugned Randy Children Quaid earlier by saying he wasn't a big name. Look at this man. Living, breathing, <laughs> Look at this command performance flesh. he's giving here. Yeah, it's uh, pretty engrossing. But as for weird, He was great as the Hick in ID4. <laughs> huh? Uh, and the Hick cousin. The Hick one. again in uh, <laughs> Unless, of National course. Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Starting you to see a, a pattern here. <laughs> Nah, oh, he's stepping field. outside you of the box like of this one, though. He's never played an evil time. master of a troop of uh, freaks I'm before. I'm and you are. I am Elijah C. Skunks, proud proprietor of Skunks' fabulous freak land and mutant emporium. But you already knew that. He's kind of a hit, <laughs> After all, you have yeah. ventured miles Damn away it. from civilization, Not that hospitals, far. telephones. Digging them side, bro. Police! How may I help you? Rob dead. <laughs> we would love to see your freak show. You see, you have built a monument to the variety and innovation of nature. It reminds us to respect the fragile complexity of our global ecosystem. And you come to me looking for weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Turd face man. Hello. Mr. Toad is my assistant. As for the Ooh. show, I'm afraid the next parade of deformity isn't until tomorrow evening. Oh, oh. However, parade of deformity, dude. You couldn't even get away with this movie anymore. In the parade. Of, maybe that's why they're not claiming it anymore. I'm interested in. I don't usually share it. With What's with this chick's commie hat? <laughs> well, we're. Uh, that's. That's the big honored, question you have? No, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> you don't get the... All right. 
I used to blow up toads with firecrackers, pal. So watch uh, it. I don't think the that toad's going to blow up with a firecracker. I mean, you don't traffic in human misery. You show society a part of itself it just doesn't want to look at. There's... What the hell, huh? Well, now she wants to blow uh, Randy Quaid. He doesn't seem that into it. Pictures of women like, eh, with you know. Uh -huh. This chick is really equipment? easily uh -huh. convinced uh -huh. to blow someone. Why not? She's like, ooh, a mummy. You're an asshole who abducted me under false pretenses by pretending to be a wounded member of my fucking Dude, just protest it. group. No, I'll blow you. Wow, Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad's wild ride. <laughs> that bunny is dead. Uh oh. <laughs> I just love the family circus. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I do it. They, they use the same joke over and over again. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for this little Moffat shenanigans, that's all. <laughs> Perhaps I should tell you. Well, this movie more. just strained its credulity with me. I, do. I don't believe anyone could find the family circus. You see, that was the that was and that, no, that was the joke. Things. That's too far, Paul. He's so out I there that the family circus is hilarious. It's like Michael Anthony. Well, that's what I'm so saying. Fucking nuts. I, I can, I can, I can get along with all this other stuff, but I'm not gonna buy that. Because they ran that fucking cartoon for like 90 years, so somebody out there was chuckling at it. Thanks, Oliver. Close off. You're good. Thanks for the monies. Behold! Behold! The Tasty Freaks Machine! Why did you put 9 11 footage on the shirt video? I'm just curious. I thought it was a pretty wild segue. Hey, you're curious. not supposed to have that was stuff! It just typical well, then I TV. guess I'm not supposed to have these either! That was the joke, because that our shirts were more important than 9 11. Who wants to get freaked first? That we would preempt 9 11 coverage with our If I were you, I would! Oh, stop. oh God! I thought that was pretty apparent, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a freak machine. Oh shit, he's fucking low he calling that rat, dude. Did you know it was the mouse? Yeah. Michael Jackson. He's using the mouse, dude. It's like yin and yang. You see DC. And the birds with... Like a sign of them in the water or something. Pretty good, really. Machine rocks. Yeah, dude. Literally. Sweet. What happened? Something broke. Oh no, it created some goo. That's not good. Oh, well, everybody's about to drink it. He's gonna merge these two. Wait a second. Sweet. You're really it's gonna rub that stuff on us and mutate our body parts? Correct. Well, then could you give me like a really big Rodney? I'm a mad scientist, pal. Not a miracle worker. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. This movie fucking kicks ass! <laughs> Put that thing away! Whoa, Cumbie was jerking off in Pokey's face. Yeah, dude. Whoa! Feast! <laughs> You're right! That was fucking badass. Oh god. Oh well. At least I'll never have to go far for a piece of tail. <laughs> there is a little nip there. Toad, take them to their quarter. Oh well. It's a big freakish nip. A mere party trick. Compared but to what you... I'm gonna do to you, motherfucker! You're gonna be. Special. Dude, I want a big spinning fucking creepy head in my yard. Yeah, of you just staring out always. Yes. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to even be of me. I'd, I'd settle for that one. Randy Quaid's head? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I wonder if that prop still exists in any form. Probably not. <laughs> Laughing man, this is Red Swan. <laughs> Fine, thank you. And you? <laughs> Listen, I have created the ultimate freak. Sort of. 
<laughs> yes. Well, see, that's just it. He's not quite um, finished. Uh, I'm going to need some more of that uh, Zagrat 24. <laughs> Could you uh, spell that? <laughs> yes, uh, well, you, you take it easy, too. Sweet. Ha, who, so, he, ha, ho. Wakey, wakey. Eggs you kind of already bakey. look a little like Randy Quaid's character. Time That's to meet true. You just probably brand fix it with a paint job, you know. My good side! Still is, if you ask me. Hell, wait till you see what I've got planned for the other side. <laughs> Welcome to your spacious accommodations. Cool. That is pretty spacious. Great use of the space. Yeah, yeah. I learned it all from Bob Vila. You know, you could Borgo expose says, these rusty me. beams and... Put in a skylight over just one weekend, Elijah. Give it a rest, Bob. Bob Vila no longer a thing. Yep. One of these days, I gotta put a shitter in there. No problem, Elijah. It's all right here in my new book, Bedrooms and Bathrooms. In fact, if you take this right. one on 30... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Randy Quaid. <laughs> Sure That's what happened to Bob Vila. We're here, Kook. Are you all right? Oh, I know that voice. If TJ That's wasn't a southern said, fried tire, he would be show. a Let's squatting hoser. Oh, yeah. Sure. Blame okay. the woman. Typical. Know what that means. I'm not going to so look at the real. chat anymore. Is this real enough for you? There, there really is no point. Quasimodo. Lighten up, Kook. Damn. You're talking to the original they got a nice, like, get up zone up for them already. Yeah, they made that pretty quick. Come on. Step into the light. Okay. Here I come. Damn. Oh, jeez. Well, it's not so revolting. I, I, I mean, after all, <laughs> that vomit's real thin. Beauty he's is a, merely he's a, a yeah, he's been drinking like that... split pea soup. Oh shit. <laughs> It's exorcist vomit. Yeah? Well, you're no Mona Lisa's yourself. You're lucky I got a strong stomach. And you're lucky I did not bite you. Get away from Whoa. me. Whoa. Oh, okay. You. you freak. Is that... That's Keanu? <laughs> I am Ortiz, the dog boy. Leader of the freaks. So they said... Kind of like the top dog. I don't think dog. that's Keanu Reeves, yeah. dude. Welcome I, to hell. I have my doubts, dude. Shake. I think we were lied to. Oh, thanks. I don't I think plan we, on we got on. we were the victims of a ruse, TJ. The victims of a ruse. I'm looking at it. How up. many of you are there in here anyway? First, I have a question for you. Maybe it is. Who is starred in the film Exorcist 2, the heretic? Huh? Well, Maybe it is perhaps him. we should ask the worm. Tell us, worm. Who is starred in the Exorcist dude? It kind of sounds like him now that I'm listening to him more and more. Olivia Newton John. Rick, do you agree or disagree? This is nuts. This is crazy. Besides, it was Linda Blair. Very good. It was Linda Blair. Circle gets the square. All right, it is him. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Julie Ernie, who's going to be? Nosy the nose back. What? Whoa. Cowboy. Okay. Howdy. The bearded lady. How you doing? Suck it. I am the eternal flame. <laughs> Iron the hole. Yeah. Nosy the pinhead. The hideous frog man. <laughs> and of course, in the center square, Mr. Paul Lee. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably, say, this is probably the most energetic fashion, performance Keanu Reeves has ever given. I can't no. think about it. Uh, yeah. Has he ever been this energetic in a role? You see, Rick, just because we are freaks 
does not mean we do not know how to have some fun, huh? Get away from me! He is still doing his whispery thing, though. Yeah, but the Wolfman thing you. brought out something in Keanu, man. TJ, go. have you ever tried fried I Oreos carnival-style, bro? You gotta fall. You have to sacrifice your body. I've had it. I've done it. It's, uh, they're great. I don't know what to say. I've not had them. They're amazing. We gotta go to a fair or something, TJ. All right. Next fair is I'm going. Let's go to the big Fresno fair, dude. Chauncey never told us he was in this. Oh, okay. I guess it's just his cousin. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not actually. This Chelsea. sucks. All skeletons look alike to me. Hmm. Sorry. I wonder if they're still Touchy. casting Gremlins three. Call my ha! agent in the morning. Gremlins look, three, Rick, dude. All the freaks have been through this anguish. At first, I was blinded by my anger. I admit that. I wanted to wring your neck for getting us into this, but. I you got said over. you wanted to go to that bitch. Well, yeah, it was your fucking idea to, to go to the freak show. The you were the one that was praising you the villain. The you were like, show. oh my god, I, I see what I you're doing here. Hey, <laughs> Honey! <sighs> I hope this movie ends with them bringing up the lights in that studio where he's telling us and then the whole audience just puking. Here. Take it. So you're a hideous mutant freak. Now. I don't need this. I'm not like those other godforsaken animals. You're mistaken, Nick. You're exactly like us. We were all normal, healthy folk before we made the fateful mistake of coming to this hellhole at an off hour. I am the uncircumcised cockman. <laughs> the a study of worms, of course. I was on the trail of the fat, pudgy worm. Are we getting a backstory on this? Had just okay. Such a worm in his shed. How could I have possibly surmised that the specimen in myself should ultimately prove to be one and the same? At first, the transformation was fabulous. I truly understood the worm's ethos like never before. But those early days of fascination are over. Now, in retrospect, I think the whole thing is a fucking headache. I'd sell my soul just to be able to wipe my own arms. I feel that. Mm. I first came here as a tourist. Looking oh, for some okay. Nice Bobcat Goldthwait. Remember when we watched him being like, he was like uh, no, Sam Kinnis, and he's like, I'm side. glad Sam Kinnis is dead because he was a sexist. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, Bobcat's I'm a piece of stories. shit. <laughs> I wish Bobcat was dead instead. Yeah. When I, first right. I would take yeah. Sam Kinnis back over like Bobcat yeah. any day. The only really good thing we'd lose if we lost Bobcat would be... Uh, God Walking bless America and whatever. Oh, I'm so full of it. You know, you'd be better off without a dick. World's hey, greatest dad was pretty cool. Beard. He's oh. better as a director than he was as a comedian. But that statement was such an asshole now statement. Now it's I hard am. for me to like I him at all. I say to the world, hey, this is me. I am woman. And I like me. Okay. So, like, in 93, transsexuals were freaks. Mr. T is the bearded lady. Right, but he's... <laughs> he just came out as like... I'm a dude, but I'm a chick. Hey, he had a transition. Rough. Cool. It's clearly the trans character, You're one of us, Mary, Whether you admit he, it or not. It's your this movie's progressive as fuck, dude. I think that uh, Mr. T, out of all mm. these freaks, got off the lightest. Yeah, it's just like, you're gonna be a bitch, man. You're right. This is the most energy hey, he's ever brought to a role. Mind your business. Sorry, sorry. I and mean, that's why he didn't, he wanted it expunged from his career. He's like, no, I don't want people to see I can actually be energetic. I don't know. It's just interesting seeing him do something like this that requires this kind of energy and like, kinetic motion and shit. Because he's usually so subdued. This guy should rescue me any minute. Then it's back to sunny old LA and straight to the plastic surgeon. I wonder I'd how say many that probably like correct beyond be this, his oh, his most energetic role would right. probably be Thanks, Ted. Yeah. Ah, and even so that's pretty stonery what and the kind fuck, of. Dude? Oh no! What are you doing? That kid. He's, He's dead. Phantom troll. Cool, it did kill him. Nope. Sounds to me like you've developed a telepathic bond. Don't no. mean you're nuts or nothing. Heck, old nosy, why, he can smell the future. I want Lots this off of the us screen. freaks got ESP, and Sockhead, he's got ESP in. <laughs> Watch out, Holster! Uh... He's gonna try the skull tracker! Shucks, Red. You're lucky. 
Telepathy like yours only occurs between real soulmates. A bond like that should be cherished. Wow! I'm Reggie Coogan's soulmate! In your dreams? Now get lost, troll! What the fuck am I watching? Judge, I don't know, it, man. It don't make sense to spurn your soulmate. Enough. I reckon that troll could help you. You just let him into your heart. But it's kept with that pacing, too. Like, just every scene is some weird <laughs> shit. Once America sees what happened to Ricky, they'll probably send the whole I, FBI I really wish this kid was not him. a character. I, that's not oh, true. I wish he'd just been dead. Yeah, I wish that he would have died and, and got, like, screaming, and falling out of the plane. Yeah, and then just never happened yeah. in this movie again. And I'd but be totally cool with that. I kind of knew it was happening. Damn it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Throw that little piece of shit out of the fucking glass. Of course I'll print it. America needs to know. Bert, give Mr. Gluck his fee and show him the way out. That's okay. I know the way out. Freaky Deaky. Huh. Freaky Coogan's a mutant in South America. My student's Gluck. That's me. Ah! No, you've got it all okay. wrong. I don't know what anything just... about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, kill that little piece of shit, dude. This is it's kind of like creepy, like, you know, Hollywood executives abducting a little kid. Come on, man. Pedo Wood, dude. Pedo Wood, TJ. Earlier they said that he was Alex Winter's soulmate, so that was pretty weird. Yeah, see. Whole movie oh, an excuse to get a bunch of kids. I bet you worry about uh. 107. Your weight? What? Over! <laughs> Two! Three! Uh, okay. Man, this looks awesome. People are just moshing and fucking drinking and making out with ghosts. <laughs> this guy is just protesting it all. What's giving those damn EES guys? Something's troubling you, my boy. What is it? Take a wild guess. Oh, I think I know what you're going through. You see, I too had an eating disorder. Uh, what? Quiet, please. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies okay. and gentlemen, tonight now we get to see you are the about show. to witness a cavalcade of atrocities so horrific yes. that I advise the more sensitive members of our audience to leave the premises. Dude, I would totally go time. to this show. Wouldn't you go to this show? Uh, yeah. They need to have shows like this. Like, even Fake Tonight, Freaks would be awesome. I the gay dudes are like, I'm sensitive, I gotta go. new and original monstrosities, including our star attraction, The Beast Boy. <gasps> but first, a perennial favorite here at Freakland, sit back and snuggle up to the musical stylings of... Rosie the Pinhead! Alright, here's where we drew our thumbnail from. Oh, yeah. Sing out, dear. From the diaphragm. Wow. That was beautiful. Hey, Julie. How many feminists does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? Two. One to screw it in, and one to ride my Rodney. <laughs> oh. Not called a Rodney. Your dick jokes would work so much better if you called it something else. All right. Your act kind of sucked. Sorry. Well, whatever. At least it was over quick. Yeah, it was, it your was coloring short. is in the autumn range like Maria. I would suggest you try the earth tone I make up. Now, as you can see, I'm All right, a Mr. T's definitely Maria, sucks. But I encourage everyone to experiment minute, and use your imagination. The main thing is, just I saw Johnny Depp in that audience for a second. What? Oh, oh, maybe I was just hallucinating. I don't know. Rewind it. Take it back like a second. All right. Yeah. There you go. And then, and then just like, yeah, get ready and see if you can pause I, it on it. I, I don't know if it will. I mean, it's just the for a split like second, so I mean, I maybe I'm wrong. I would suggest you try the earth tone I make up. No, I don't think so. Where did you see, see Johnny? I thought, I thought it was. You know, I don't know, man. You see that guy for a split second. He kind of looks like Johnny Depp. You just, you just hallucinated just Johnny Depp in an audience. Yeah. Oh, 
don't know, man. Maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm on the pra- maybe I'm look on the lookout for other celebrities that you wouldn't expect in this maybe. <laughs> All right, this show's starting to suck now. Hold it's on. a dude in a gorilla suit. La, 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 la. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It makes a tasty meal. We do the Wiener Schnitt, the polka, because we love to eat fried veal. Hey, 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 hey. Ready. That's an easily entertained out of Wow, yeah, yeah. boo. Boo. <laughs> Fuck you, Socko. This, this audience is tired of being fucked around. They're ready for the Beast Boy now. Big boy, Beast Boy. You must turn your hardship into Bobcat makes this movie. You're an actor, Rick. No. Your body is your instrument. This movie is like Tim Burton's mental diarrhea. <laughs> maybe. They're going for you, Beast Boy. I can you better get out of here now. Maybe. I'll be right there. Thank oh, you, I love. I don't know how I know. to repay you for this. You could oh, I was so <laughs> What a <laughs> comedian. <laughs> Mm. Nosy, have I ever told you what a nosy artist you was are? that their name before huh? they became a freak as well? Or, uh, where's that backstory? Watch Monkey Bones for Patreon, you fucks. Now is the winter. Paul did walk out of that movie. I did. Made yeah. glorious summer More because by of the audience of than the film, though. But it, the, the film deserved it. And I'm not shaped for the sport of tricks. Nor made to court an amorous looking glass. Hi. If you are having trouble understanding Mr. Coogan's brilliant reading of this soliloquy from Richard III, please take advantage of the handy subtitles for the culturally illiterate. Vile figure. Okay. Deformed. Sent before my time into this breathing world. Where's these subtitles Scarce you're talking about? Okay. Why? I. In this weak, piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time. Dude, he wants to fuck his half best friend, Freaking. half girl. I hope that happens. What do they have? Because uh, like they kind of join in the middle and become a torso. So what kind of junk is that? Thank you. Thank you. They seem to like it. Whose lower half got the dick? <laughs> Is there one of each down there? Yeah, they're just side by side and take the care of it. Yes! yes. No. Thank God for E.E.S. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Rick. Uh, look, look, I, I really love this new look you got going for yourself. It's, uh... Fresh and hip. <laughs> uh, the kids will love it. But back at the EES, I don't think the big boys upstairs are going to get it. What are you saying? Well, Rick, uh, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, well, uh, you're you ugly, ugly enough to burn the anymore. nose hairs off a dead nun. Ah, <laughs> 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 roasted. <laughs> you would burn the nose hairs off a dead nun. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what? What a punch! <laughs> Whoa! Oh shit, he's pissed now. Eat shit! Whoa! Rick, now you're just being childish. Damn, yeah, Rick. Butthole surface. Show business, morons! You're all going to hell! Okay. Why didn't the butthole surfers get way bigger than they were? I don't know. I like them. <laughs> I think it's because they didn't have enough radio friendly shit. <laughs> the, one, the one song that they did <laughs> that did make the radio and make oh, it big, their one hit. Yeah. 
is not even really representative of them as a band at all. It sounds like nothing play. else they did, really. Let's go, let's go. All right, seven. Well, whatever. They All were right, awesome, team. so who cares? Is there uh, an X? No, no, see, there is not an X. Jesus Christ! Hey, the wheel. <coughs> <laughs> Mind if I sit in? <laughs> so now, you do not mind mixing with us. How did you say it? Sorry, mutants. Look. I'm sorry about what happened at the I show. I am fucking Jeez, like really weirded out by how social into this. Can you just Keanu forget was. it? I've never seen him with this much vitality and energy and spark and spunk in a role, dude. <laughs> hey, shouldn't you tell Rick it about Keanu our Reeves' plan? finest <coughs> performance? Excuse me for living. You know, the, the site that I found Listen, that I found confirmation of this on the headline was like version. Keanu Reeves' best role is one you've never rich. heard of. Cry out. I mean, I don't know if I... Yeah, not necessarily best, but, you know. But definitely his most energetic. Like, it looks like he personally know. was into this. You can tell that there's some passion behind Ortiz's this performance. Really ingenious, nobody nobody does see, this passionately. I figured out that our escape does not include wow, the Beast Boy. You just make boy. fun of retards back in the No one may discuss yep. the plan with you, understand? <laughs> I mean, we still you? do. You trust your I know, but like, just he can lick we're not the balls? movies. Yeah, they don't the 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 anymore. Or at least Fine. they don't. Then I'll just come up with an escape plan of my own then. <laughs> I have spent a year studying this hellhole, devising the perfect escape. Do you think you will just dangle right out the door? Ha! Just try it, amigo. I will. Rick, wait. Wow, yeah, dude, I'm really Ricky. sorry that like, this is maybe this on, is Luke. why Keanu made it. Don't big. go off half cocked. Because people were like, you know, that fucking freak Believe movie, me, that shit sucked. But the dude that did the this dog boy, man, he just looked like he really Ricky loved what he was doing. Well, who's that the guy's name? He I'll wasn't credited. You. you could just feel the Don't passion in his stupid. performance. Keanu Reeves? Name's got star pop. What kind of bullshit is this? Crazy bullshit. You, you, crud sucking puss monkeys. <laughs> Solve the puzzle. Where are the nukes? He looks like the butler from Dr. Moreau. This wow. is actually a better version of Dr. Moreau. So his chick is fucking the dog boy, too? That's the law. She's fucking everybody. Dude. Is this is that, is this movie making like a commentary that like feminists are sluts? Are they slut shaming feminists? If they are, that's cool. I got something to show you. I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting out of this because she has literally on, like thrown door. her pussy at every male in this movie except for the one she's attached to, because he's way too what soy boy. I just laid a turret. This is spitting image of Kim Basinger. Boy, if I had a dime for every time I heard that, she's naked too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'll take a look at this tight. <laughs> Looks like naked Kim Basinger. Huh? All right. <laughs> I'll crawl into an outhouse and look nah, at this guy's tight. Looks kind of like Winona Ryder, but. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good, dude. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I like that joke. All right, so he's disguised himself as the milkman. <laughs> Seamless. <laughs> Somebody said that like 95% of stars in Hollywood, Keanu kissed the Armenian Ring of Destiny. What does that mean? Is there a conspiracy that Armenians control everything in Hollywood now? Yeah, after the Jews got kicked out, the Armenians took over. Really? Yeah, yeah. Common, commonly known thing. Somebody in the chat says Paul and TJ would fit in this movie. I kind of agree. We could be freaks in this. We would have done a good job. I get it. They're Rastafari's, dude. Rastafari. I was like, why are they wearing? Why are they speaking? Oh, I get it. Rastafari. Yeah, I can go in and never come out. All right. Uh. We usually don't pause these, but um, I did want to tell you guys about something real quick. Uh, I have an idea. 
I don't know. I know. I noticed a lot of you are big fans of Swamp Ape out there. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, how much could it really be to make a Swamp Ape movie? You know. Yeah. I was thinking we need to get the fuck we you know us here in cinema versus cynics, cynics, uh, cinema for cynics, whatever the fucking brand. We need to fucking work to help that man make Swamp Ape two, and me and Paul need to be in it, and the dude who did Reanimator of the Living Dead needs to do the special effects. And we need to get the dude from Evil Cat, too, to come on as a writing consultant to help with plotting and pacing and Hell staging yeah. of the uh, uh, special effects. Yeah, like he'll we want to fucking it. make Swamp Ape 2. Swamp Ape Rapes Manhattan, Paul's title. Excellent fucking movie. It's going to be great. Uh, we only need probably like, I don't know, 80 bucks or something to make it happen. <laughs> I mean, it'd probably be a little bit more than 80 <laughs> bucks, but I'd totally be interested in doing it. Yeah, like if we could fucking, I mean, I, we, we got, to, if if you guys can get us in touch with the dude who made Swamp Ape or let him know. Yeah, you guys go out and tell the guy that help made him Swamp Ape. We want to finance a sequel to Swamp Ape with the help of our audience. Tell him to twi tweet us or some shit, you know, reach out on Twitter to... Uh, Cinema for Cynics. I have all these scenes planned in my head. I want one where Paul gets raped in the ass by Swamp Ape. I mean, everybody's going to get raped. It's yeah. called Swamp Ape Rapes Manhattan. That makes sense. And th I think Swamp Ape should kill exclusively through rape in the sequel. I've already got like the whole beginning plot you worked do? out in my head, and it's totally cheap. Do you want to share them? Yeah. Like, okay, so it starts with like the government has found out about Swamp Ape, right? And they send a crack team of, uh, you know, animal wranglers in to capture the swamp ape so that they can bring it back to their Manhattan laboratory to study it. You see where I'm going, dude. It's totally easy, right? They get swamp ape after he rapes a few of them and kills a few of them. They finally subdue him in the swamp. So we got one part of it set in the swamps. Easy to shoot. Then... The next part of it's in Manhattan. We talked about, like, we're not going to film it in Manhattan. We'll just get some B-roll of Manhattan, some good 4K drone B-roll of Manhattan. You know what I mean? So it looks like we're in Manhattan. We shoot it wherever the fuck we want. Swamp Ape escapes the laboratory and starts fucking stalking the streets. Just absolutely going nuts because he's out of his environment. He doesn't know when the rape cycle has ended. And that's, that's, that's why he's <laughs> raping so indiscriminately and so constantly when he's in the city, because they've removed him from the swamp, which usually soothes his rape rage cyclically. You know what I mean? It releases yes. some spores into the air that make him not want to rape every, you know, fall. So he goes into hibernate. But now he's not doing it. Now he's just raping constantly. All right. So if you guys want to see that, I mean, I, I think there's probably at least a one in a thousand chance that that could potentially actually happen in some form. I don't know, dude. Maybe he'd be interested. That's what I'm saying. Like, if we could get him on board, he could give us a budget. You know, we could fucking go to our audience and be like, hey, you motherfuckers love Swamp Ape. How about Swamp Ape 2? Yeah. Swamp Ape Rapes Manhattan. Or I, but I definitely, I'm, I'm de I definitely want to involve these other two guys if we can get them, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know there was a chick that knew um, the fucking guy that uh, did Reanimator of the Living Dead, so he'd probably be easy to get a hold of. Um, we don't want to just watch bad movies anymore. We want to help make bad movies happen. And who knows what the evil cat guy's doing? You know what I mean? We just have to find out what his name is and call him. He's probably got his name on that movie. So it's just like he he might be doing something totally different and he'd be totally down to like <coughs> take a little break and come do something different. <coughs> All right, we're going to restart this movie. I just wanted to read a couple of these that came in while we were talking here. Um, someone just said, hi, I love you for five dollars. We love you, too, I guess, for five dollars. <laughs> uh, five for Swamp Ape and the rape. So someone's already trying to contribute to the Swamp Ape thing. All right. <coughs> 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 That concludes our brief intermission to talk about Swamp Ape 2. <laughs> Diet soda? No, thanks. Fiddle faddle? All right. <laughs> Somebody says do Swamp Ape versus the evil cat. Dude, that might actually be fun. Mm -hmm. Delicious. We have those two guys get together, the evil cat so, guy and the Swamp Ape guy, and come up with a fucking... Yeah, we can have a, and we have that one dude do his little sure, faggot fun, character in there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hit. Yeah, he could show Look, up, too. Elijah. Cypher Cringe. Yeah, I've Cypher Cringe. In in there. The <laughs> Only if he canonically changes the name of the character to Cypher Cringe. Yeah, of course. Oh. Well, I, I guess suppose he Jake and the fat man was just But that's how we'll think of it. 
Hello. But what's going on now? Why is... Oh, they tried to escape, and like, now the bad guy is intimidating him. Got it. Thank you. We really do need each other for these. Because, like, I'll lose the plot, and you'll always be like, no, no, this is what's going on. And then you'll be like, I have no idea what's going on. I'm like, no, he's this, this. I mean, this. not always. Sometimes we're just like, what's going on? You're like, dude, I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cooper. But at least Listen, we get half of the shit that we wouldn't watching it solo hideous. and stuff. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, like, Tomorrow night, I'm going to finish the job on oh, stage. Shit. And then you're going to slaughter all the old freaks. And from their ashes, you'll rise. Like a mighty phoenix. Only a lot of clear. And then the whole world will... Hey! I told you enough! So Elijah was going to send That's you mean. to Phoenix? No. That's your assistant, He was dude. talking about a huge rude. bird. Yeah, dude. The mythical Mr. creature? Mr. Toad didn't do shit to you. Oh. The point is, Elijah wanted to turn me into a bloodthirsty monster and have me kill all my fellow freaks. But what he didn't know is that I left his den with an important clue. Why is he still carrying the milk for his milkman escape costume? Maybe he wants to drink some milk when he gets back. I don't know. <laughs> Well, a bumbling idiot. Another milkman! Hey, Red, couldn't you come up with your own escape plan? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. A dozen milkmen? Isn't that a little unusual? Twelve milkmen is theoretically possible. Yeah. yeah. Thirteen is silly. silly. Looks like one milkman too many, Coogan. <laughs> Freaks! Find them! Go ahead! Hope you like reggae, you flea bitten bastard. Be very quiet. <sighs> Damn, dude, she is just a sloppy bitch Look, fucking slut. You, this, killed. Dude. you don't know she about Elijah's giant every one of these eyeballs dudes. with machine guns. Oh, boy, I bet the game. worm is even it's fucking suicide, wormed his way up in that pussy, do dude. <laughs> and I worm. cannot let you. Professor stop Worm us. is wormed his way up in there, dude. I just want to say that even if it is a more high energy performance, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, in comparison to his other roles in movies where he's pretty shitty, what's the best you've ever seen in movie? What's Keanu's best? Yeah. Hmm. What's his best fucking performance? No wonder they fight. Let me think about it for a second, because I don't want to just answer that. I gotta, like, kind of flip through his, his better shit. I'm thinking like it's cool to say because he's never really great at anything. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like he's obviously I mean, like, he's not fucking totally horrible, right. but you'd never say like he's great. You never really say. I mean, like he's like at best he kind of ranges from kind of bad to passable. Yeah. If it wasn't for Rick, I mean, he's mediocre. We'd all be yeah. dead. He's mediocre. Oh, thanks. Oh, I think he's good. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But usually the Come movies, on, like a lot boy. of times the That's movies the that are built house. around his yeah. mediocre performance are really good. So oh, yeah. I don't understand um, that. Well, now. maybe he's just good at picking his roles. All I want was yeah, but like... Why would people Maybe that have wrong, these grand ideas put such a lifeless piece of shit like Keanu Reeves in a movie like that? Maybe he's just, when they've got the giant budget, you know what I mean? Maybe it's, all, maybe it's position. just because he's been in so many. Like, he just weaseled his way into the first few off of his Bill and Ted thing. Like, we need someone with some name. And then he picked some good movies. And then they're like, well, he was in these successful movies. He must be good. Maybe. And then he just kept it going. Buy more fiddle yeah. fiddle. Tape Donahue. Because, yeah, it really is. It, but, you know, you, you know where he really yeah, well, excels, though, is in those movies where you don't, <laughs> like, you just want it to be almost a bland character so you can just kind of insert Laughing Man your own, 5, like, project yourself on them. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Why man of action kind big. of thing. You don't we really want to them stop. to have too many idiosyncrasies that separate them from I, I guess so. It's the end of the world. The That's why I'd say, like, speed. It's a great movie. But I mean, like, he's just, he, he just perfectly plays, like, a blank slate, bland character, yet you're still invested in what he's doing because the situation is so fascinating. I'll be right. turned into an evil super Same thing with the Matrix. Forced to kill you all. He's bland and kind of well, uninteresting, but everything that surrounds him is this incredibly interesting. That works in the first one. It kind of suffers in the, the next two. I don't think that's his fault, though. And I've got yeah, I don't think plan. it's his fault. I still say we 
Shut up. Whatever. I think that's the You're Wachowski brothers' fault. If you want the my Wachowskis, dude. Wachowskis the Wachowskis lost one of them their their sister now. now. They and forgot. Oh, it really? Yeah, dude. Elijah Oops. Instead of us. I mean, Oops. congratulations, oh. I guess. Oh, <laughs> I actually, I was... How do we get to the lab? <laughs> it was uh, weird. Right. The worm can dig a tunnel. I mean, I, all right. I hope that you guys will forgive us for ignoring this for oh yeah five minutes. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I think we kind of know what's going on with this movie. Oh yeah. Well, what if we just... Yes, exactly! If they've been using Zygrot 24 as a fertilizer around here, then the entire ecosystem So they're making, they're formulating their plan. You came here for movie commentary? We're talking about Keanu Reeves, who is one of the principal characters in this film. So there's some movie commentary for you, bitch. I thought the grass tasted funny. Wow, Besides, Rick. all they're doing right now is a You're long, boring genius. scene of them playing hey, shit out. Yeah, it's like, let's be honest, the dialogue is not the strength of this movie. Do you want me to catch you guys up? I haven't even been paying attention. Plan? They're having a meeting to talk well, about how they're going to all escape together. Because their we, first uh, plan was retarded because they thought they'd all dress up like milkmen and it didn't work. But if you want to go to this big super you there with us now? I guess that's okay. What am I looking at? You're looking at... 1993's Freak, Freak, starring Alex Winter, and that is disturbing. And, um, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is in it, even though he decided not to take the credit. Which I don't know why. I mean, this is one of his coolest performances. I think he knew that this movie was not going to be a success. I think maybe he just did this role for fun. You know what he would have been great in? Because this type of performance is kind of out of place in the movie that it's in, because everything in this movie is out of place. Like a Princess Bride kind of movie. Like that kind of high fantasy comedy edge. He could have played that character in that and been great. I can see that in this performance, you know what I mean? Yes. Even though most of the time you're looking at a worm and two giant Rastafarian eyeballs chasing people around, you know what I mean? These two. I hate it when you do that. They really didn't do much with this whole thing. Like this situation where like I mean they did the setup like she hates him hey, and now they're this. attached to each other. But they really didn't they really didn't do much with that. Yeah, I don't think it's meant to go much beyond that. I think it's just like, we can do a lot of funny gags if two people that hate each other are sewn together. Well, that's what I'm saying. They haven't done any gags with it, really. Well, they like every, in every faithful. scene they're in, one of them beats the other with something. Yeah, I just, I was hoping it'd go a little... It's, it's just like they're the three stooges, you know? Oh. They're the stooges in the it's movie. It's my bar mitzvah! Come on, Ernie, let's to go. That level. Wait, wait, you gotta see the one where Rabbi Katz laughed so hard, noodle pudding came out his nose. It was cute! <laughs> ah! But he's a see? Jew. She literally just called him a stooge, I think. Nice digging, worm. <laughs> Off, okay? <laughs> that dude just looks like a dick. Today. I am cranky, I am bloated, and I have a wicked case of crabs. Don't ask why. All right, yeah, this guy's performance sucks. Gotcha, He's freak. lame. There's a probably a reason oh, he no hasn't been in a whole you? lot. <laughs> he just kind of hey, shouts guys, things at mission you. Mission accomplished. They've got the Zygrat 24 and they've broken through into the lair. Magnifique. Ça va comme sous des roulettes. No! Can't you see? We're digging our own grave. It's nuts. That's what it is. Nuts. Well, maybe you've all got a death wish. I forgot you were in this and I was kind of glad I'm I did. Yeah, I know. Alright, so the eyes got him down, Nobody right? Nobody get her hurt. Out of my way! Hell yeah. Oh, they knew. They knew, dude. They knew we hated him, and they were like, thank yeah, let's get rid of this horrible character. That shot full of holes, man. Uh, they just came to shoot him? Yeah, they're just like, alright, he's just here to shoot him, we've completed our task. Aren't all of them, like, rebels on the lamb now? I, yeah, I don't know. I thought so. I just want to say... What is it, Oh my kid? god, is this fucking Bobcat's big death scene? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It. I knew they were going to do this, dude. I was hoping they wouldn't. It. I was like, don't do the big oh. death scene. I know you want to, but please just have some restraint. But I should have known this movie has zero restraint. They're going to do anything that pops in their fucking heads. I've hacked into Elijah's super freak program. My god, it's complex. Okay, guys. Okay. 
guys. We got a job to do. Let's do it and keep quiet, okay? My son. Yeah. So they're making some freak juice, I guess. Well, they probably would understand what's going on if we listened to their convoluted plan, but I didn't want to. Now look, from now on, no more screw-ups, okay? Styrofoam cup. So they're gonna put the freak juice on but him. But he's coming. Yeah, they're gonna. I mean, obviously they got some kind of plan to turn him into a freak. So cause X, Y, and Z. To that isn't gonna backfire though when he turns into a giant raging mutant that they, none of them can stop, right? <laughs> I don't know. That would be. A, I think that's a pretty fair prediction. There's a real Meet the Feebles vibe here. Alex Winter funded this film by selling plasma. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> this was his passion project. Yeah. The walls are about to collapse. You go ahead. I'll catch up. This turned out pretty go. funny, yeah, to be go. honest. This is I'll definitely an interesting movie. Yeah. Maybe not the best uh, for commentary because of it's just like, I did not know how it was paced and... Like, this is one of those movies you just kind of want to kick back and watch. Yeah, see, I'm invested in whatever the fuck is going on here. I don't even... The plot is kind of unnecessary, honestly. It's it just, works really well on a visual level. Honestly, when I do tune into the dialogue, I'm kind of just like... I like this better as just a visual fucking bad storytelling. For the That's why when they all, I see a bunch of people talking, I just don't care. We're just now tuning in. Glad to see there's a character who has a giant flaccid penis. Yes. Yeah. He's actually supposed to be a worm, but I'm pretty sure they knew they were making one of that fucking big uncircumcised dick. Okay, everybody. Dick. Listen up. Now we cracked the code and made the ointment you can see, we need stop to bring it, stop it, down for good. It. Yeah, you can see his legs, dude. You can see the dude. The plot is kind of unnecessary. in that whole <laughs> shot. Now we okay. It works really All well right. on a visual level. Honestly, when I do oh, tune into the dialogue, I'm kind of just like, I like this better. as just unmuted us over there. I guess I did on accident. All right. Well, whatever. You can just pause that. Uh, yeah, you can see yeah. his legs. <laughs> the worm dude's legs are just hanging out. They're just hanging out right there. <laughs> like they're literally not even close to being. I was I was looking at that and I was like, "Who's the worm dude sitting on?" And then I was like, "Wait a minute." They just didn't. They just. They were like, ah, nobody's gonna notice. They're just gonna be looking at the worm. They're probably right. Cracked the code and made the ointment we need to bring Skugs down for good. I mean, that's not well hidden. No, I mean it's lit by the fucking lamp on the ground too. Wow. I mean, he does not canonically have legs in the movie, right? They just wanted to make sure he was in this shot. No, he's a giant worm. We've seen him slithering across the ground and shit. Yeah, look, there's his. Yep. Worm tail. Right there. So I don't know where the jeans came from. Why couldn't they just slap the little bottom part on him? I don't know. Maybe they didn't have a bottom part for it. Maybe everything was shot waist up with him and it was just an effect shot to have the other and well, the I mean, tail was just, a separate just part. just saw it right there. Whatever. Uh, EES is in bed with Elijah C. Skugs. Uh, no shit. It's nice to see you in the flesh, <laughs> laughing man. <laughs> I think we can dispense with the code names, Elijah. We're all friends here. <laughs> and to prove it, we brought you a little present. Uh, 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 Rick, is that you? Who's the troll? Uh, that kid's already a freak, so... about Coogan causing trouble. We figured he was one of yours. Well, I make freaks all right, but uh, come on, fellas. This thing is pathetic. Well, you're no Julio Iglesias yourself. Uh, get him out of this movie. Oh my god, what a oh, no, screaming, not now, screeching. Hey, where are you? I'm in the lab! I'm in the lab! I'm in the lab! Ah. Not only ugly, he's crazy, too. Toad. Oh, he's gonna get mutinized, ah. too, dude. Mm -hmm. They're gonna mutinize Stewie, Stewie and he's, be he's gonna become the worst fucking shit you've ever seen, dude. Oh god. 
Just get him out of this damn movie. Yeah, peck get him, him to death, two-headed chicken freak. I'm not, you've had so many opportunities to kill this little shit. I know my setup here at Freak Land looks like small potatoes. But thanks to your Zygrut 24 and my genius, tonight I'm going to turn Ricky Coogan into a freak so hideous, it'll be enough to make your stomach turn inside out. It'll boil your brain in its own juices. And it'll make a cold sore that you thought it healed up start bugging you again. Mm. It's the dawning of a new age. A new beginning. Behold. Super Mega Freak World! <laughs> It's really something, huh? Very impressive. We'll kick Disney's yeah. dead ass. Stewie! Stewie! Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. I want you to try and escape. Bring me the Can't can on the floor near the glass bars. I like your spirit, Skaggs. But Disney, come on. I like Bambi. Bambi sucks. What about the part where the murder got shot? Yeah, yeah, I like that part. Well, yeah, I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> we here juice. at EES have plans for your gene machine that include everything. Hmm? Well, everything except shoes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. What is the joke well, there? Plans. Well, I'd love to. I don't know. To you. What do they got against shoes? Bill. Would you do the I mean, honors? Like people in the third world don't have them, so what's the point of manufacturing them? I guess I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it either. What does today's businessman want? Well, me. How about a receptionist with six arms, three mouths, and a knockout figure? <laughs> that would sure speed things up. Wouldn't it? Or down at the factory. How do we fight the rising problem of sagging productivity from lazy uh -oh. workers? How about a worker with 12 busy hands, no mouth to talk back, <laughs> no genitalia or gastrointestinal all system right, like to distract him too. from his work? Sure, it's what we all dream about, isn't it? <laughs> well, with this Skugs based Zygon technology, these things are not only possible, they are only the beginning. God damn it, who cares? We're poised on the edge of a new frontier limited only by our imaginations. Of course, what happened to our expensive spokesman, Ricky Coogan, was an unfortunate coincidence. On the other hand, profits from these new markets total in the billions. Ricky who? <laughs> hey, now hold on. Secretaries... Worker drones. Where's the fun? Huh? Where, 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 where's the spark? Where's the, the unspeakable evil? I was just getting to that. We are going to impact every field. Cosmetics, military, novelty house pets. And why should we stop with consumer products? Hell, we can design a whole new consumer. A few well-placed drops in the water supply and bingo! It's a whole new master race. All right, race. now the movie's getting too accurate. And we own the copyright. Like this guy. Good. Yeah. Hey, how do we get we to lured him away from Pepsi? Right here. Subversive. Uh, right now. Movie. We are building a better tomorrow for those who uphold the vision of EES. Bill, if I could just add one thing. Those who dare oppose us will stand knee deep in the blood of their children. Yeah. So whoever made this movie did not like corporations. So that's it then. Yeah, there's a strong anti-corporatist message. Yeah. And by your hand. I don't know that this. I mean, no, I guess the move, this movie me. was bound to have a message. It'll be some inhuman monster. It would Elijah seem that like because this create. whole thing exists because As of their me, freakish chemical that the they came up me, with. Their fertilizer I'll made all these poor people into mutants. And before I have to rip your heads off, I'd like to say goodbye. That was Hollywood's ploy at the time, dude. They introduce this fucking liberal character that's like mocked, and you're like, wow. ha, stupid bitch. I'll yeah. miss your but then brains. By the end of the movie, the she's totally pipe. vindicated. In yeah. a funny way, you always it's go like, on wow. talking until everyone wants to I guess to we shouldn't you. have mocked that alarmist liberal that came to us earlier. So I guess that is it, right? Yeah, so that's the, that's the plot of this movie liberal Come propaganda. In. Communist propaganda. Communist yeah. propaganda. Yeah. There's yeah. the answer to those of you that were confused yeah. about oh, why she was wearing that red beanie. Yep. There's your fucking reason, bitch. Viva la revolution. Apparently, Alex Winter uh, also directed this movie. Cowboy. I'll miss your that's good kind of, humor. That's kind of impressive. You know what? Wisdom. 
It's paced well. And those frothy milkshakes were Actually, utterly now that I'm delicious. Actually, like, some of the visuals <laughs> kind of look like the hell scenes Love from, uh, fucking Bill and Ted. I wonder too. if he had a hand in those. Yeah, I'm wondering if he Nosey. had, like, if he was working never on the really visuals for that, you. too. I never really liked you. Suck my dick. Because it kind of has a similar Fair visual enough. sense of, like, weird distortions and kind of, like, B-rate Tim Burton uh, I don't know, uh, we'll always yeah. have Paris. <laughs> Frogman, I think death is probably the best thing for you now. So this guy's whole job was Rosie. to walk around this movie in a scuba suit. He's probably had the hardest one. It's Jeff's girlfriend. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I have mixed feelings. On the one hand. I'll always Tony remember you as the, the best friend a jerk like me ever had and a low-down, repulsive slime ball. On the other hand, I really respect you. More than that, I... Well, I... I just wish we'd had the chance to boy. Did you miss any freak oh, sex? Yeah. Um, surprisingly, no. No, they haven't really gone there. This movie has gone a lot I mean, that's the lot. most sexual thing that's happened in this movie right there. Yeah, I mean, like, this movie's gone a lot of weird places, but not a lot of weird, overtly sexual Today, places. I make the proudest boast a man can utter. I guess the, the Jew guy did try and grab I'm the kids freak. once they became melded. Yeah. I am a freak. Really? It's taking you this long to admit that? Look at you. Whatever. But you know what? He's a better person than he was when he was You're right. an attractive. That's, what does that say, Paul? Because Ricky Coogan, the, the non-monster, was just a total asshole. But as a monster, he's discovered his humanity. Wow. What a powerful film. Over here, Rick. Where? With this remarkable ointment of my own design, I am going to transform this half-finished ghoul into the right, ultimate this overstayed. It's stomach turning super freak. I mean, dedicated. It's it like looks like it's about to wrap up. I'm pretty sure this is the this is crazy piece that it started off with. It's kind of slowed down, so hopefully it's gonna get crazy again. Right here. Oh no! Oh uh, shit! Move down. What the hell? You got a problem, Mister? Oh Jesus! Oh my Christ. fucking god! No. Dude. So the kid becomes the unstoppable fucking monster, dude. Your ass is mine, Scott! <laughs> oh, no. This kid looks pissed. I and I kill him! The Rastafari. Ah, the thing I am weak to Come is on. dirt. Oh, no. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I just grab it. Oh, well, I was wrong. Yeah. One firecracker can blow up this toad. Damn, dude. <laughs> Man, I stand corrected. Shit. Shit, never have I been so vociferously corrected by a film. I'm sorry, freak. Okay. It's time to bring out the big gun. Dude, I love his outfit. Yeah, kiddo. Oh. I want that shit. The visuals remind me of something Primus would put in a music video. It might just be me, though. Oh, dude. The good word. So now, this is actually turning out cool. So now Ricky Coogan is a giant freak. What a waste of 12 bucks. Three giant freaks, dude. Machine no, wait, go. two? Is he going to fight Come Stewie on. now? Right now. Wait, Rick. Could you sign this first? Time to die, troll. Sweet. Let's go, dickhead. Yeah, dude. This movie didn't go where I thought it was cool. Is it going to make everybody in the this audience This machine is now the sole property of the Everything Except Shoes Corporation. What? 
Eat shit, yokel. Who's going to turn them in the freaks? That's small businesses don't trust corporations. The yokels have a bazooka. Filled with. Since the opening night of each star. Uh, now I rip freaks to pieces. Kill Nosey. You always hated Nosey. Sympathize with Randy Quaid's fucking character in this movie. And we really I'm sorry I doubted him. Oh, sorry. You like cheese. You like being a man. That's why you like machismo. Real cheese for real men. Now in a handy aluminum dismantler. Cool. And now it's about back to time. The exciting why can't that product Coogan's be real? Never story. have I wanted a product more. Let's see. Shut it seemed like nothing could stop me from shoving a spear through <laughs> hey, Stewie's hey, skull. Uh, Paul, I'm going to and all of a sudden, uh, gas station to get some cigarettes. You want anything? Yeah, oh, pick me up a machismo, man. man. You just <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a couple heart. machismos for me, too. You're hard. You're hard. New You're caffeinated hard. machismo. You're hard. 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 You did it, Rick. And a boy, Coog. And a boy, Coog. Sentimental cut. Oh, the weeping cock, dude. Beast boy, I gave you an order, and you better the obey cock it, damn it. It's all scugs. You were nothing before I found you. I made you, and I can break you. You think I made you strong? Ha! I've got my DNA cranked so high, you won't know what hit you. I'm a wrecking machine. Arr! 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 And I'm kind of like, I think they missed an opportunity to have Randy Quaid turn into some big mutant freak and have. The both of them have to team up to pull him off, you know? I mean, that could still happen. I think happen. you crushed my spinal cord. They're obviously not going that way. I can't feel way. anything in my fingers. Maybe you'll feel this. No, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. If you kill me, you'll never find the antidote. What antidote? A time-release serum. I baked it into a delicious batch of macaroons. Hmm. Macaroons. Nice, so cool. I like if you ask me, you skimped on the coconut. <laughs> oh, it is gonna happen. Dude, it is gonna happen. <laughs> he fell in the Zygron. Is it gonna kill him, though? No, dude. He's gonna, He's gonna rise from the fucking pool of juice as a fucking... Freeze! FBI! I don't know, dude. Really? That just killed Looks him? Looks like they took care of Skuggs, Chief. Nice work, Ricky. Nah, he's gonna come You'll out. You'll get a medal from the Vice President for this. Right. But how did you? We've been following Skuggs for years. Then when we saw Mr. Gluck's article, we knew it was time to come move. On out. So what took oh, you so, so long? Oh, so Ricky First, really did save the day. Or Satan's the child thing kid. on page three. Oh, yeah, I read that. Then... There was the case disco of the house Godfather for sex versus cinema. A gay black disco <gasps> DJ cleans up his neighborhood of angel and dust. It's on YouTube. Holy it shit. sounds pretty cool. Angel dust. Angel dust. What the hell are you looking at? 
dead meat. Shields. And that's my story. Ooh, ooh, it's so exciting. We fixed Coogan's light. Oh, it's about time. Turn it on. <sighs> that's better. <laughs> I'll say. How about it, folks? Let's hear it for Ricky Coogan and his freaky friends. The bearded lady. <laughs> How you doing? Rosie, the eternal flame. Ridiculous. Just because a man doesn't like macaroons. <laughs> the worm decided to stay the worm because he doesn't, he doesn't like, like macaroons. Gotcha. Damn, it's about time. Ortiz! Hey, Is this like at the end of the play when all the actors come out and take a bow? I guess. What an ending. Elijah transformed by the goop, and he actually looked like... Exactly like you, Sky, I swear. Same face, same outfit, except he had these really big, hideous feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink your blood. I guess she liked Mac. Oh, Rick, it's finally over. Yes, yes it is. What happened to the Jew Ray! guy? Ray! I guess he's just not on the way to realize nobody cares. <laughs> that, oh, this guy. Oh, well, like that wasn't Man, totally is. predictable. Well, now it's is. really over. Thank God. Stewie decided he didn't you know, want to eat the macaroon. This whole thing has taught him. me something. I'd rather that be that than... When man starts than... impinging on the subtle perfection of the Maybe Earth's natural the order... Dude. The only thing Better he'll to create. be a giant freakish Sad. monster than a little freakish right, monster. Coop. I learned something too. That men and women truly are equals. That the human spirit transcends gender and physical appearance. And thus, it is immune to the petty degradations men may devise. So true. Yeah, I believe it was oh, Moe Shut Yair. up! Ah. Oh. Thank you. I know, I, I'd rather you just not had his character in the movie, but... Weird, how awesome movie. All right. What a weird ending. <laughs> it just seems like they just wanted to keep going, but they're just like, I guess we got to end it at some point, so that's the end. All right, we better mute this. Here. All right. There you go. It's muted. Uh, well... Brando was considered for the lead role. Yeah. It was probably too hard to work with, though. That was pretty good. I mean, um, it's definitely pretty fucking fascinating. Um, it didn't go the directions you thought it would. It's like somebody's I can't really id. say I've seen too many movies like it. Yeah, it's like somebody's id puked and it got made into a movie. Yeah, it was just pretty much, uh, I mean, like, I wish the frenetic pace that they established at the beginning would have been able to be carried to the end. I mean, I don't think it would have fucking been able to be. Like, but it, it, it needed was, some lulls here and there. You can't just throw people I don't know, in. man. This movie felt like it would have been the perfect contender for something that was just a nonstop, balls-to-the-wall, crazy, fucking non nonstop shit being thrown at you experience. Because I got used to that at the beginning, and then when it started to lull, I was like, man, I'm not enjoying this as much. Pick up the pace like you had at the beginning. Yeah, it did It did have a kind of a... I don't know. There could probably be a way shorter cut of this movie that's way better. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I agree with that. We didn't need um, all those planning scenes and shit. We get it. Yeah, I, I really wish... Uh, I mean, the dialogue was occasionally they'd have like a funny joke, but a lot of times it really wasn't very good. Um, so I kind of wish they'd re leaned less heavily on it, especially when they had so much crazy, you know, visuals they were working with. They could have just told the story more visually. I liked how unaware it was of modern day, like, social morals and shit. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it definitely just had that, that classic, like, 90s edginess. Right, where you, you know, just poke fun at everybody. Yeah, and it was... And you know what? Everybody seemed to be kind of okay with it. 
Yeah, and now it's we and, live in a hyper offended time yeah. where you know so many of these jokes would be like that. You just wouldn't see them get made because it'll offend this group or that group. Um, and unfortunately, those are kind of the, the funniest jokes they had in the movie. Uh, there was tons of bad jokes as well. Yeah, some real stinkers. Didn't really fucking land. I mean, you know. Uh, what for, was that one that Randy Quaid told right before they killed him off? Uh, he, he did like a fucking Johnny Carson impression or, or something. Oh, it was. Oh, shoe. yeah. It was. Could be a really big shoe. You yeah, know, that's. Whatever. Oh, what's his name? Uh, who, was, who was that? That wasn't. Um, it's not that wasn't Johnny Carson. Yeah, that was uh, way before Carson. Like, uh, what's his fucking name? God damn it! All the bands used to go on. Yeah, there. yeah. Ed Sullivan. Ed Sullivan. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing an Ed Sullivan. It was. It was a shitty joke. Yeah, it was pretty shitty. You know, but if they, if the, if our audience is a, uh, what'd you say they weren't gonna fucking get? I don't Blue remember. Lagoon reference. Oh yeah, but course. they're gonna get an Ed Sullivan reference though. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not gonna get the blue the Blue Lagoon reference at uh, all. The whole movie is an offensive joke. Um, no, I mean this movie was it was pretty crazy, but it really it didn't seem like it was going out of its way to be particularly offensive. There's definitely been movies that went way more extreme in that direction. Um, you know, it was just kind of like a cool visual movie that had some kind of energetic performances that were, you know, I'm way more interested in the hypothetical Swamp Ape 2 uh, Swamp Ape Rapes Manhattan than anything this movie had, to be honest with you. Um, there was some cool shit in this movie. But yeah, there was some fun stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I would say better than most. I mean, like, as far as the movies we've watched here, it's probably near the top. I don't know if it'd be the very top for me. Uh, yeah, it's somewhere in the middle of the pack for me. It wasn't audaciously bad. It was just kind of when it was bad, it was real bad. And, uh, yeah, it kind of got slow towards the middle. So, I don't know. Kind of middle-of-the-road movie. Whatever. It was interesting. Had some fun stuff in it. Yeah, uh, seems like there was more potential there than it actually delivered on, which is kind of, like, to me, the most disappointing thing. Because, like, I just, I, ha I saw the semblance of a really fucking entertaining movie in there. Yeah. Um, but it... It just like it went off the rails too many times. Didn't quite make it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be back to do one of these in uh, probably a week or two. And for you patrons, uh, you'll be getting one um, sooner than that. I don't know. I guess none of those have cl like cleared yet, but um, we could release something to the people that are yeah, on for sure. There. Those um, of you that have already bought in, expect one uh, shortly. Yep. So uh, see you guys then, and uh, don't forget to check out uh, Deep Fat Fried on Monday and. Um, I'll definitely be doing some videos on my channel, and I know Paul's going to be doing some videos here on, on this channel. Yep. Uh, I think there's a new Counterpoint list coming out soon. So there's a lot of projects in the works across all of our channels. We've got so fucking many nowadays. Um, so, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We, this was uh, Cinex vs. Cinema looking at 1993's Freaked, um, which was a pretty interesting experience. Yep. Good night, everyone.